Chosen Vessels, what's the deal? It's your main man, Drew Tube, and I'm back at you again with another video. I need each and every vessel to hit that like button, hit that share button, and don't forget to subscribe. Shout out to the Galactic Family, the GCVs, and of course, Drew Nation. Let's get right into it. Scumbag messed with the wrong one. Not knowing you're divinely protected and covered by the blood. Let's get into it. There's a scumbag going around thinking that they can get away with not doing right by people. This person thinks that they can get away with the things that they put out towards others. Well, guess what? We all know that's not true. If you act like a scumbag, you're going to end up getting treated like one. What you put out is going to come back to you tenfold. You can't get away with bad behavior. You can't get away with being an evil person. You can't get away with being a negative person. You cannot get away with trying to hurt others. It doesn't work like that. People think they get away with things all the time when they least expect it end up getting caught up in something when they least expect it end up getting in some type of trouble when they least expect it God ends up raining fire down on them in the form of what they tried to do to another person scumbags when you act like a scumbag life is going to be a scumbag to you so their time is coming they think that they're on easy street right now they think that Nothing is going to happen to them as a result of what they did. They think that they're going to clean, get away with what they did. They think there's nothing that could happen to them. They think that everything's going to be all right because nothing has happened yet. Just give it some time. Just give it some time. They got theirs coming to them. They have something coming to them that they, can, they can't even begin to imagine. Something so hard, something so awful, something so terrible. It's going to hit them like a ton of bricks. It's going to smash down on them and their pathetic life. See, people who act like scumbags, they're pathetic. They want to be a horrible, terrible person to other people. They don't want to be a good person. They don't want to be somebody that is positive. They don't want to be someone that is going to be the best that they can be for themselves or others. That's not what they want to do. They choose to be a bad person because that's who they see that they can be. Oh, I could, I could be a bad person. I could be a scumbag. And there are some things that come along with being a scumbag. Scumbags attract other scumbags. There's a lot more scumbags than there are good people. There's a lot of good people, but there are a lot of scumbags as well. There's a lot of good people and there's a lot of good scumbags. Unfortunately, there may be more scumbags than good people. Don't allow that to stop you from being a good person, though. Just because someone is a scumbag to you doesn't mean you have to go be a scumbag to somebody else. But the scumbags, they feel that. They feel somebody did me bad, I got to go be bad to somebody else. Somebody did me wrong, I got to go do wrong to somebody else. They feel that. They resonate with that. That's the frequency and the wavelength that they vibrate on. Not you. You're covered by the blood. You are divinely protected. And this person does not know that they were messing with the wrong one. They don't know that they were messing with the wrong one. All that scumbag activity, all that scumbagness, all that scumbag energy, it's going, it's, it, it, it is going to enter back into their reality in the blink of an eye. All that bad behavior is going to fall right back on them like a ton of bricks they, they're, when they least expect it. They're going to think something good is about to happen to them. You know, they may end up getting dressed, may end up getting all nice, may end up thinking they're about to go enjoy themselves. And then something terrible happens. They got to go back home. They got to go sit down and think about what they did because of something just happened. They don't know why it happened, but they got to go back and go sit down and think about what they did. 
and it's going to dawn on them and it's going to hit them like a ton of bricks. Oh, wow. I put this out and now I just got it back. I was a bad person and now some bad happened to me. I was a terrible person. Now something terrible just happened to me. Scumbag messed with the wrong one. Your angels are protecting you. You are divinely protected. There's nothing that they can try to do to you that is not going to come back to them a lot worse than what they put out. They are going to have to face exactly what they did. They're going to have to face it. Whoever whoever they are, whatever type of person they are, they're going to have to handle that. They're going to have to deal with that. It's going to be now their situation instead of yours. It's going to be your their situation instead of yours. They tried to make it your situation. They tried to make it happen to you. They wanted to be a bad person to you. Well, guess what? Now some bad is going to happen to them. Something awful is going to happen to them. That negativity that they put out is going to come right back to them because they're a scumbag. They can't picture being anything other than that. They can't picture not being that. They can't live their life not being that. They're a scumbag. They chose to be that. They wake up and say, I'm going to be a bad person today. They go to sleep saying that, oh, I was an awful person to this one today. Oh, wow, I did this person wrong today. Patting themselves on the back for bad behavior. They're scumbag. Taking advantage of innocent people. They're a scumbag. Looking for somebody that, to do some type of dirt to. Looking for somebody to be a bad person to. Looking for someone to do wrong to. They're a scumbag. And they think that this is actually all right. They think this behavior is all right. They think they can get away scot-free being this kind of person. They think that ain't nothing going, ain't nothing going to happen to me. I'm so-and-so. You ain't so-and-so, you just a so-and-so scumbag is what you are. Messing with people and, and, and trying to harm somebody's future, trying to mess up somebody's reality, wanting to see someone have to go through a bad experience. You're a scumbag. Not wanting good for other people. You're a scumbag. But that's how some people are. That's what some people do. Some people get off on that. Some people actually get off on being the worst kind of person that they could absolutely be. And there are other groups of people who will applaud that. Oh, you're a bad person. <laughs> Great job. You, you, did, you did him wrong. Good. The, the better you are, it's like the worst people want to do you. The, the, the more of a, a, a better per, the more of a good person you are, even if you're just good to yourself, even if you just... You're not even totally some whole nice person, but you just don't do wrong by other people and you don't want done. You don't want wrong done by you. There are people who actually see it as a score. There are people score. There are people who actually think they're getting ahead and actually uh, improving and, and doing good in life. The more bad people that they could do something horrible to. They think they're winning in life. They think it's a, a one up for them when they can when they could cause somebody good, some type of negative outcome. But these are, these are the scumbags of life. They're scumbags. That's what they want to be. That's what they want to do. That's what they chose for themselves. They choose to be this. They want to be this. They don't want to be anything else but a scumbag. And that's okay because you're going to rise above all the scumbags. You're going to overcome all the negative activity. You're going to rise above all the bad behavior. All the people who wanted to come into your life and, and do you something wrong so they could go back and talk about it, go back and feel good about themselves because they did wrong to the person who uh, is feeling good, the person who is wants to be good, the person who wants to live good, the person who wants the best for themselves, the person who doesn't put out uh, no, no, nothing bad to nobody. They wanted to, they wanted to be, be a bad person to that person. Well, guess what? You're a scumbag. We all do things. We all have a past. We all have done things that we shouldn't have done. When you choose to, to do different, when you choose to be a good person, you're on a different path. But for the people who choose to continue to, to do wrong and they know they're doing wrong, they know they're not doing right by people, they know they're being an evil person, that's a scumbag. That's a scumbag. It's like they're, it's like they're perpetuating evil after e evil act after evil act after evil act. They want to continue to be a horrible person, and they feel good about that. Yo, they, yo, they do evil for sport. A fool, a foolish man 
does wickedness for sport. These types of people, it's a sport to them. Doing evil is a sport to them in the game of life. They want to be as evil as they can to as many people as they can. They're scumbag. But they mess with the wrong one. They messed with the wrong one when they messed with you. They thought they could get away with that when they did it to you. They might have been able to get away with it all those other times, but they shouldn't have tried to do that to you. You stay prayed up. They should have tried to do that to you. You got a connection with God. They shouldn't have tried to do that to you. <clears throat> you're, you're consciously aware of your angels protecting you and you're covered by the blood. They shouldn't have did that to you. They shouldn't have tried that to you. I mean, tried that with you. And the fact they did, now they're going to be tried. The fact they did, who knows what's going to happen to them. You'd be surprised if they make it to another day continuing that same behavior because all that for them is about to come to a halt because they done messed with the wrong one they wanted to see something happen to you well guess what now they're going to end up seeing it happen to themselves they'll be lucky if they make it to the next day continuing being this kind of person they'll be lucky if they continue to make it through life being this kind of person They'll be lucky if they make it out alive to the next day being this kind of person. They'll be lucky if they don't end up in the same trap being this kind of person. Whatever they wanted to see for you, whatever they wanted to happen to you, they'll be lucky if it doesn't happen to them before the day is over, before the night falls. They'll be lucky if they don't see themselves entering into that same fate. That same prophecy that they wanted to see fulfilled for you, now it's going to be fulfilled for themselves. Oh, they're going to have some, some trouble coming. Oh, they're going to have some, some hardships coming. Oh, they're going to have some, some, something awful coming because they wanted to be a scumbag. Instead of being a good person, they said, I'm going to be a scumbag. Instead of being a righteous person, they said, I'm going to be a scumbag. They like being a horrible person to people. They like that. They get off on being an awful person. They get off on being the worst kind of person that they can be. Because you know, there's, there's things that come with this. There are people who are attracted to people like this. There are people who like people like this. There are people who are, uh, uh, in, a, in, a, in a sense, want to be with people like this. Because they're the same kind of person. Like attracts like. You always see these kinds of people rolling with each other. You always see these kinds of people getting with each other. It's like, yo, how, how can this person find someone very easily? How can this person have friends very easily? You're on the road less traveled. You're going to find yourself not around a lot of people, not around a lot of people because you're covered by the blood. You are divinely protected. You're not going to have too many people in your life. You're not going to have too many people around you. You're not going to be dealing with too many folks because uh, there are a lot of scumbags out there. There's a lot of good people too, but there are a lot of scumbags. And that's why you, you're not around too many people because once people will get around you, they will see it as an opportunity to get a lick. They see it as an opportunity to win. They see it as an opportunity to get some points. They, get a, they see it as an opportunity to score because they do wicked and they do evil for sport. It's a sport for them to be wrong and to be bad and to be awful to another person. It's a sport. They have fun being this kind of person. They enjoy being this kind of person. You see that emoji with the devil horns and it's smiling? That's the kind of person that they are. They smile at doing wrong when it comes to you. They smile at doing wrong when it comes to others. They smile at doing wrong when it comes to the type of person that they are. This is the kind of thing that makes them smile. Evil makes them happy. Being corrupt makes them feel good. You want to be corrupt, they want to be righteous. No, I mean, you want to be you want to be righteous, they want to be corrupt. That's why you're not around too many people. You're covered. You're divinely protected. God got you all to himself because the more people you're around, the more chances you might stand to be around some corrupt individuals. And the more you're around corrupt people, the more corrupt you become. See, these, scum, these scumbags weren't always like this, but they picked up this behavior from the type of people that they were around. And instead of choosing to be something else, they chose to be this. 
Just like you chose not to be that, that's why you're not around too many people. You saw groups of people, you saw cliques, you saw people with all these friends, you observed and analyzed and, and, and uh, picked apart the types of people and behavior that were in these groups. And you said, you know what, I'm not sure if I want to be a part of that. That's how you got to act to, to be in a group like this. This is the type of person you have to be to be around all these people. Wolves hunt in packs and hyenas hunt alone. Nino Brown said that. That dude that be on YouTube with all the crowns and stuff. He said wolves hunt in packs and hyenas. He said hyenas. I think. No, he said. No, I think I might have had it backwards, but I'm not sure. He said. What did he say? He said wolves hunt, hunt in packs. Hyenas hunt in packs. And a lion hunts alone. All right. I was about to say, yeah, I thought about that. I'm like, hyenas, they don't. They, they, they be in groups. Hyenas hunt in crowds and hunt in packs. And you hunt alone. All right. Forgive me. I messed that up. But hyenas, they hunt in packs, all right? Wolves hunt in packs. You find yourself alone. A lion find, a lion hunts alone. A lion hunts alone. Lions hunt alone and hyenas hunt in packs. So if you find yourself alone, that means it's because you're a lion. You find other people in groups, that means they're a hyena. That means they're a wolf. That means it's, they're weak. It's hard for them to be by themselves. It's hard for them to, to tough it out alone. It's hard for them to go through life figuring things out and, and, and being by themselves and not having to be around a lot of people. They got to be around all these other people and they, that because they have to try to make up for something that they don't have. They're not strong enough to be by themselves, so they need somebody else immediately to lean on. And it's not bad having somebody to lean on, but when you got a, a, a whole bunch of corrupt people, there's no honor amongst thieves. And you're not supposed to walk, you're not supposed to uh, dwell in the counsel of the wicked or the unrighteous. All right? You're not supposed to dwell in the counsel of the unrighteous, you're not supposed to stand amongst and be amongst the wicked, the counsel of the wicked. You're not supposed to dwell amongst the unrighteous and you're not supposed to walk in the counsel of the wicked. All right? You're not supposed to do that. So that's why you will find yourself alone. You're covered. You're divinely protected. You won't be around a lot of people. You won't be around a lot of scumbags. And not to say that just because people are in a group, they're scumbags. But when you look at most people in groups like that, when you look at most people who are around a lot of people like that, there's a certain behavior that you have to have. There's a certain person that you have to act like or pretend to be to fit in with these particular groups. And unfortunately, they've been a lot of people have been programmed from television and, and stuff like, uh, say, the movie Mean Girls, stuff like that. That's like how people act in those types of groups. You have the narcissist, you have the enabler, the person that may not be that bad, but they uh, worship the narcissist and they, they want to be just like them. So they are pretty much just as bad. They, they don't have it in them to be a full scumbag. It's like they're they're divided. It's like they're halfway in, halfway out. And God says that's just as bad. That's a person that's double-minded. They don't know if they want to be good. They don't know if they want to be evil. You have people like that as well. Half a scumbag, still a scumbag. Half a scumbag is still a scumbag. Half a toxic, per, a half a toxic barrel of waste is still a toxic barrel of waste, even if it's half up. But this scumbag messed with the wrong one. They tried you, and they thought they were going to get away with this, but they're not. Whatever they did, whatever they thought they uh, were going to get over on you with, whatever they thought they were going to do to you and come out scot-free, not this time. They messed with the wrong one. They might have been able. They might have been able to do this to somebody in their group. Another, another karmic person, another toxic person. They may have got that off. They may have been able to do this to one of their friends. All right, they all hanging around doing bad to each other. What's one more bad thing for uh, for for the the, the lick of bad the, uh, things that they've done to people? The, the, the amount of bad things they've done to people. What's one more corrupt act? What's one more evil act compared to all the other evil things they done did? What's one more? What's one more? Well, guess what? They done did it to the wrong one. They done been a scumbag to the wrong one. They done tried to be evil to the wrong one. They made a mistake this time. They, oh, they made a big mistake this time trying to do that with you. They might have got it off with somebody else. But they done tried it with someone who has a connection to God. They done tried it to someone who's prayed up, 
You, you pray against these kind of things. You talk to God about these kind of things. You, you ask God to remove these kind of things out of your life. One of these people try to do something to you, it may come back a lot faster than if they did it to somebody else. It may bounce back because you got a force field around you. You have angels protecting you. You are divinely protected. When they try something with you, it's going to come back a lot faster. It's going to hit them. It's going to hit them back a lot faster. It's going to knock them out a lot faster. It's going to knock them down a lot faster. Because you're prayed up. You got a connection with God. You have a connection with the most high. You keep God in your life. You talk to God throughout the day. You, ha you have a good relationship with the father. You got a great relationship with God. And when these kinds of people try you, it ain't nothing but the devil. When these kinds of people try you, they're trying to infiltrate. They're trying to, they're trying to uh, cause some separation between you and that connection. There's going to be even worse things that happen to them because of that, because they tried. And <laughs> they, you know, do, you know, touch not my anointed ones and do my prophets no harm. They tried to come into your life and to cause some mishaps. They tried to come into your life and do some kind of evil, do some kind of harm, cause some type of toxic uh, situation, cause some type of stress, cause some type of health issue, cause some type of financial problem. All right. Cause some type of life situation to happen. They wanted to see you go through something. Because they're a scumbag. They said, to heck with you, to heck with this person. It's all about me. To heck with this one. I, I'm, I'm out for myself. I got to do something for me. I don't care about other people. I don't care about anybody else. I don't care what happens to this person as a result of the type of person that I am. You're supposed to put yourself first, but not at the expense of other people. You're supposed to put yourself first at the expense of yourself. I'm not going to let somebody do me wrong. I'm putting myself first. If I've recognized some toxic, some negative behavior, I'm out. But when you have people who are scumbags, when you have people who try to manipulate, when you have people who try to act like something that they're not, when you have people who come into your life like a, 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 sheep, a, a wolf in sheep's clothing, they try to get over on you. What they try to do is going to hit them back a lot harder and it's going to come back a lot faster. It's not even going to touch you. If it does touch you, you're going to be refilled. You're going to be restored. Whatever you lose, you're going to get it back. Whatever whatever uh, hurt they caused, you're going to be able to heal a lot faster because you're connected to God. You're divinely protected. You're covered by the blood. Whatever they try to do is not really going to get you like that. They may have thought they was going to take you out, but they ended up taking themselves out instead. They, end, they may end up thought they was going to cause you some type of damage. They ended up causing that, inflicting uh, a lot of damage upon themselves instead. They tried to do you wrong and they ended up doing themselves wrong. Thought they were going to come up off this situation. Thought they were going to get something. They thought they were going to do something bad and get something good. That's what they thought. They thought they were going to do something bad to you and something good was going to happen to them. Or they thought they were just going to come into your life and stop the good that you had coming. Either, either they think they're going to do something bad and get something good, or they think they're just going to come in somebody's life and stop their good because they're an agent on assignment sent from the devil. I'm going to come into this person's life and screw some things up. I'm going to be a total scumbag to this person. They ain't going to never be the same after me. They thought they was going to get their, their, they thought they was going to get their kicks. They thought they was going to get some enjoyment, more enjoyment. All right, they thought they was going to get some more enjoyment, trying to cause some harm, trying to cause something horrible, something awful to happen to you. But guess again, guess again, because they messed with the wrong one. They messed with the wrong one, and now they got a long one. They got a long day ahead of them. They got a long week ahead of them, a long month ahead of them. Whole week full of trouble, whole day full of trouble, whole month full of trouble. All because they wanted to be a scumbag and they took pride in being a corrupt person. They took pride in being an awful human being. They took pride in not being a divine being. They took pride. You know what? To hell with all that God stuff. Don't nobody care about that, man. I ain't no good person. I'm a bad person. I'm going to hell. That's what they said. They said, I'm going to hell. I ain't with none of that stuff. Screw what you talking. Ain't nothing going to happen to me. I ain't, I'm going to hell. That's the energy they moving with. It's a scumbag. They, re they really think they're going to get somewhere with that. I'm going to hell. Ain't nothing going to happen to me. I'm going to hell. I don't care about none of that good, good stuff, none of that God stuff. I'm going to hell. 
You see how I'm coming. I'm not the only one who sees y'all how you coming. Now you can see how somebody like that is on the path of destruction. You can see how somebody like that is a total scumbag. You can see how somebody like that has exactly what they had coming for you, coming for them. I'd like to thank you for watching this video. Smash that like button, smash that share button, and don't forget to subscribe. Peace, love, and light. I'll see you in the next video. We out.